Hey there, it's Marianne from Thrive and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use templates inside Power Automate, which is part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, to speed up the process of getting those automations up and running for you. Power Automate is an incredible tool, but it can feel really daunting. So the idea of having some framework and some of the heavy lifting done for you is a great way to dip your toe in, particularly if it's something that's brand new for you, the idea of using automation in any format. In this video, I'm going to walk you through why the templates exist and how you can access them and show you some examples. Then we're going to dive in and look at how you can then customize a template once you've chosen it so that you've still got control and you can be really specific about making sure that it is going to do what you need to do. So let's jump in. So the first thing we want to do is head to Power Automate itself. So we're going to work on the web version. So we've headed to office.com. I've gone to my app launcher and I've come to Power Automate. Now from here is where we do everything, of course, but I wanted to show you why the template section is such a powerful tool to, to really start from. So we click templates here over in the sidebar. I'm going to get rid of it so that we've got a nice view on the screen. But you can see here that literally there are so many templates and there are templates for all kinds of things. And what I love about the idea of using a template is that firstly, all of the hard work, the heavy lifting has been done by somebody who is very skilled and clever and has done all the complicated stuff for you. So the connections work, the flow is correct, the pieces are in the right order. All you've got to do is plug and play your elements. The other thing I like is that it's done a lot of the thinking for you about where you connect, how you connect, what the steps should be. Because sometimes we know what we want to achieve, but we're not 100% sure about the process to make things happen in the right order. And that's where the frustration lies. So a template will take a lot of that out of it for you. The other thing I love is that things are grouped here. So there's a whole range of ways that we can find a template. So if you know you're looking for an approval system or you're looking for something to do with social media or you're looking for data collection, rather than scrolling all the way through and trying to figure out where you're at, you can simply refine the, the templates you're looking at by that. The other thing you can do is you can look up here. So you can say um, form to approval and it's going to use that to find. So you can see here it's now got start an email, start an approval process and send an email on form submission. The other, um, as opposed to adding a row, approve a form and add a row to an Excel spreadsheet or start an approval when a response is submitted in form. So you can then filter down further. What you'll also notice here is that some of the, you can see that the some of them use one or two of the internal apps, those within the Microsoft 365 framework, and some of them will connect with things outside. So uh, let's find one. So this one here uses uh, Power App, SharePoint, and the approvals program, which are all inside Microsoft, and then it uses Adobe. Uh, this one here uses Meisterplan. This one here uses Power BI. These ones, this one's using Excel. This one uses Planner. The other thing you'll notice um, is that there are some here that are education based. So these are the EDU and there will be some not for profit ones as well. But this one is specifically designed for those working in the education space and those who have an education subscription. That doesn't mean to say you can't use it if you're not one of those people, but that's the focus. It's like saying an invoice that includes GST has obviously been designed an invoice template for someone who needs to charge GST would be for people who are registered for GST, whereas people who are not would be less inclined to choose that one over another. Okay, so it's just giving you those specifics. The other thing that you should note is the, who these are created by. So some of them are created by the community. Some of them are created by a partner program. So this one's been created by Adobe. This one's been created by Adobe PDF services. This one's actually been built by Meisterplan. So there are some that have been built by the community. There are some that have been built by Microsoft, and there are others that have been built by the apps and programs themselves. And what that means is that that's who 
the sort of key consideration is. A lot of these are built by people in the community and have been added as templates. So they're people who've had this problem themselves and have built it and are sharing that as a templated option that you can use. So let's go into our next stage where we're going to have a look at where we would consider um, how we would get started with a template and how you take it from a template to a customized tool. So once now that we know what a template can do for us, let's see one in action. And I've chosen one here from the template section, which is to notify and email me when a new file is uploaded to OneDrive. So it's using my OneDrive for business and it's going to connect with my Office Outlook. You can see here, these. Are, this is the flow. It's going to start at OneDrive and then it's going to move to email and it's going to connect to OneDrive for Business and Office Outlook. So it's connected to my account and it's green, which shows that it's been, it's a valid connection. If you haven't connected them or authorized Power Automate to use these tools before, there'll be a link here that says fix connection and there'll be a little red exclamation mark here. And you just click the link and it will reauthorize it to be able to access it for you. You can see it's linked to my account here so we'll go continue and what that will do is open it up in the, the designer and you can see here that we've got three elements and it's got some invalid parameters. So we're going to have to give it some information in order to do the work we want. So it's saying when a file is created, it's going to send a mobile notification, which I won't worry with, and then send me an email notification. So once we have this template, we can now, you can see there are some folders that we want it to check. So we're asking it to look in a specific folder. So I can click here. If I click this one here to open folder, it's going to show all of my folders. So if I go root, and then you can see it's all of these are in my main folder. So I can choose any of these folders. If I was to leave it here, it's going to search everything, or I can drill down and be quite specific. So I might say, I want it to be when something goes into the recordings folder. Um, so, and, and you can see that's now by hitting tab, it's now removed that it's invalid. Send me a mobile notification. So this would be the text. It's not connected. So what I can actually do is I can delete this step. So even though it's a template, I can say, I don't need that bit and then send me an email notification. So we're going to choose who that email would go to. So I'm going to make it. me and this is the subject and I can edit this. This is the actual email and you can see we can edit the body of that as well. We can pop some of our dynamic um, elements in. So here this one will open up some of our dynamic content so we can pull information based on what that file is called. But what this means is that this will happen automatically every time. So if you have a particular folder, but you might have someone working on it and or, or assisting you with a project or need to be aware of when files are added, this would be a great template to start using so that the email goes out and no one has to be manually checking it all the time or worry about missing anything as an example. So there you have it an introduction to the templates inside Power Automate so that you can start your automation journey with a little bit more confidence. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, click the bell and subscribe so that you know about all the new videos that I share on all things Microsoft 365 when they land. If you think this would be helpful for someone else you know, please feel free to share it. The idea here is to be able to show you what is possible within Microsoft 365 and how you can get started without having to take on all of that extra tech and complication. I really hope that this is a great way or this is a, a chance for you to really consider automation. It's something that we're all dealing with every day and it's going to become more prevalent in every way we manage our workload. So being comfortable with some of the layouts, the terminology and the processes will make a huge difference for you. If you've got any questions, pop a comment on this video or feel free to get in touch. You'll find me hanging out in all of the usual places under Thrive Admin Services, and I'm always happy to chat all things Microsoft 365. Cheers.